Doesn't get too much better than this, at least at the USA level. This is going to be a barn burner. <clears throat> Let's hope so. Don't jinx anything. Duong say I with don't, the... They're not settling in. They're coming no, right No, this kind of presence that Duong oh. say is inching forward with, he's he's not measuring. He's, he's impeding upon Airdem's space, looking to close that distance early on. Not letting him realize that, that range, that reach advantage, and really establishing that southpaw left kick. Yeah, he took a step directly into Airdem's... Uh, uh, Distance, yeah, and I don't right. even think Airdem's noticed. He was so aggressive stepping in yep. that Duangse was able to step in safely and, and, and not pay for it. And that's only going to encourage him to continue to pressure forward. Yeah, he's completely gotten in his range, in his in his set the control, and he's thrown already three of the five uh, target areas with that left kick for the inside low, the long knee, and the liver kick. He only needs to go high and attack the back leg. A hard knee as he closes range. This is a very calculated discipline strategy from the southpaw fighter. Measure, measure, and, and change level, change range with the power attacks. I think Airdome's got to get on his straight punches attacks to control that range and then set and like counter that pressure from Tung Se if he's going to push him back and start to settle in this fight. Right Duong now, he's fairly defensive. Duong Se has now landed his second hard body kick with that left leg. Hard, fast knees as we move back. These are point scoring, but don't seem to be hurting Air Dams. Now he's thrown five in a row, and he's getting that knee up there. Even as a shorter fighter, he's getting it up there lightning fast. Tyler's doing well, or Airdem's doing well to move to move to his left away from the power, but Tungsei's kind of cutting down that move. Oh! My goodness. That he landed that spinning heel kick, but he seems to be the one that was hurt from it. He sure does. <laughs> They've never yeah, seen that before. Perfect analysis. That, that, I was very perplexed by that. I was actually oh, speechless. I didn't even know what to call it. What Long say laughed at the attempt. He shrugged a, it off like a, a mosquito landed on his shoulder. Yeah, this is a very well-conditioned fighter. 100%. To eat. Man, he, this is a bad place for him to be. It didn't even seem to rattle him whatsoever. It was like kicking a telephone pole. Maybe I saw it wrong, but it looked like it landed flush it on sure the did. chin. It, it sure did. It, it looked, it looked it like off. the heel hit him in the chin or the neck and it went nowhere. I think Tung Se is doing incredibly well to just settle into this fight and implement his game plan. Yeah, and we have five three-minute rounds. Yes. It's going to be a very different pace. You can't get away with doing what someone like Ray Funnel did early on when you only have a six-minute fight. No, no, yeah, exactly. Two rounds is the same time as your entire fight. Unless something crazy happens in the last 10 seconds, it's clearly round one for Tung Se. A measured finish to that round. I did see Erdem starting to really get the range on that kick. He rocked the last few back, and so, you know, he, he's, he's starting to feel that range. Let's see if he can make the
let's see if he can push through and, and what he can do as this fight moves forward. Now, even with this compromised movement, he's show, showcasing great defensive yep. skills. He's not getting punched. He's not getting hurt. He's staying composed. Yeah, he's I mean, composed. Duong say tried to split his skull in half and was unsuccessful. The two of those elbows landed hard and flush. You can tell that, that Duong say and his camp have, have realized that that, that close-range march-down game is where they're going to win this game. With Every time they get into the clinch, he's there. really not trying to hand fight. He's just keeping... There in that moment, you uh, see he right threw there. the right kick, but it oh. was the left base leg that wobbled, I think, as he spun. That and really and makes you feel for up. air dams. You know, as someone who's experienced some, some hard knee injuries, I've had four knee surgeries, two on each leg. Once that knee is hurt, it really makes it hard to roll punches off or to distribute weight. Oh, it, it appears the doctor's going to check that knee to see if he's even allowed to continue. For the safety of the fighters, the, the fighter's never going to back down in a situation like this. But because he can't move, maybe the doctor determines he can't defend himself. And Adam says, no way, look at him. I'm hopping around. Don't you dare. I came here to fight. We're going to fight even if you take both my legs off. Yes. Respect to him for that, and respect to Mark for just making sure that the fighter is in a safe uh, position to continue. Airdems with a different sort of energy and fury in this moment. Pushing through the pain, he's attacking with the leg that's injured. He's refusing to let anyone see him look injured, and he's pushing forward with hard strikes. He's finally starting to march Tong Se down. I think whatever Kuo Huey said to him in that corner really woke him up coming out of this round. Oh, a hard that. attack by Duong Se. Jumping knee, which gets a timeout from the referee. Is there something we did not see from his angle? It was the same as there was a 12-6 elbow. The jumping 12-6 elbow, which maybe in California is not legal because I know when we're in the casinos, it's a legal strike. I think maybe I think it maybe came to the collarbone, which is why we didn't see it. Normally, you'll see it more clearly. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get a clear read on, on what the strike the ref had, a, had a, an issue with. Yeah, you still can't throw that 12-6 to the collarbone either. Elbow nice exchanges elbow. in the nice clinch. Elbow. Air Dem coming up with the advantage there. Duong Se throwing Air Dems to the mat and show of dominance. Doing well to hand fight in that exchange. Push kick. Ooh. Air Dems did well to hide his chin. Air, Air, Air Dems, elbow. unlike some of our amateurs, has seen enough spin attempts to yes. <laughs> move, move away. <laughs> he knew it was coming. I think he even heard you. Yeah. He a little smile there. He's like, yeah, Joe, I, I, I watch this guy's tape. I know what he's good at. I saw that coming a mile away. He needs nice to get his boxing going. He needs to get his boxing going. He utilizes his range advantage. He's trying, but Duong, you, you can't just get your boxing going against someone who controls with a push kick yeah. and then throws a hard body and kick attacks, every time you punch. And attacks that front leg. And, and because his movement is compromised, he can't do feints in the type of movement that allows you to cover distance quickly. Yeah, it's hard to get his head off center. He's still in this fight, He's still in this fight. He certainly is. He's throwing hard. Duong Se, while having the more effective strikes and movement, is, is not dominating or blowing him out of the water by any means necessary. Air Dems is too experienced to allow that to happen. I think I think one thing that I'd like to note, too, is we, the, a lot of the focus has been on is Air, Air Dems' knee um, uh, injured. I think that I, I would like to point out for a second that Duong Se is putting on an incredible performance right now. Yeah, it, it must be. Knees and uh, kicks to the body especially is where Duong Se is dominating. He is looking incredible right now. He's pushing Air Dems back. There's another big kick, another big kick. Air Dems is defending and staying in the game, but has not much to answer. No. And, and there's no reason for Duong Se to do more than he's doing because he's winning so yep. efficiently. Yeah. Why, Air, take it, why take a chance against someone that you know oh, is dangerous? He lands a head kick. Wow. After rounds oh, he's and hurt. rounds. And that left elbow landed too. After rounds and rounds of body shots that lowered the defensive arm of Aridem's a really surprise rush really. on the chin. Credit to Air Dems for hanging in there, but man, that was technical from Tuong Se. Tuong Se is now punishing Air Dems. He threw, and he's probably thrown 30. We'll see how this next round turns out to Duong Se if he turns it up even yet another notch. He's, he's landing flush. He's landing flush. This is... He's so calculated, too. Even when he's landing flush, he's not going too wild and crazy about it. 
He's very, being very technical. Those strikes are coming straight down the pipe. You brought the name up earlier, and this fight now is reminiscent of him. The style of the great southpaw, Yadsen Klai. It's very measured, calculated, sliding just out of range, and using power left strikes to just break down everyone in front of him. Well said, Joe. And that left kick is getting there with lightning fast and precision accuracy like an arrow. Air Dems was throwing and throwing and missing and missing, so we're getting to see that kind of defensive display from Duangse as well. It, yes. He doesn't seem to be doing Doing much yet he's not there when you want him to be and and, and that's something that Yad Klai was so good at guys would throw six punch flurries and Yad Klai would just look at them from an inch away I'd like to point out the footwork of Twanse his footwork his footwork in his boxing stance his Muay Thai stance and his accuracy weight distribution is almost perfect right now watch his feet watch his legs everything is coming back to a perfect stance he's placing his feet in the perfect position to have excellent power head off center line this is just, this is a master class of footwork right now in a very subtle fashion. Yeah, it's all efficient micro movements. He's barely breathing heavily. He just stuck his toes up underneath the oh. of him, who refuses to quit. Refuses to quit, man. He has taken a lot of damage and he is still right there. Let's remind the viewers that this is for the USA title and, and, and that is why Airdem will not quit. He's going to look for any opportunity he can to still score a punishing strike to steal that belt. But Duong Se is showing us why he believes he should be the USA title holder. He's, he's absolutely proving that. He's absolutely showing that. He's earned that 100%. This very well could be the best lightweight Muay Thai fighter in the United States oh, right now. With a jumping goodness. knee like that, who in America at this weight division can face him? I don't know. This is... So this is for the IKKC title. Yes, IKKC I USA title. There's a national title on the line. And Duong Se is putting on a high, high level performance. I could, I, 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 I would love to see a matchup from, uh, with Duong Se against the winner of Mendoza and Velasquez. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Outside of USA title, what do you see next other than a world title shot? Because this is world class ability that he's absolutely world class absolutely world class this is incredible precision this is some of the best striking at the, at the highest there's level. a high kick yeah this is dominant dominating distance timing control power strikes we are entering the final round of this title fight and boy is duong se putting on quite a performance He's doing really well with that pressure. I think that he could really land that lead right elbow straight down the pipe, splitting and guard with it. He's thrown that spinning elbow three times now, and Airdam has seen it come a mile away, rolled it off, it's rolled off the shoulder. I think that if he came with some linear elbow strikes, he might have some success and really land those with precision power. Not that he hasn't been having success with everything else <laughs> exactly. as, as we go. Yes. He sticks to exactly what he's doing. I think, I think we'll see a, a dominant win and, and uh, earning himself the belt. Yeah, Erdem's always has a puncher's chance, and in Tung says, you know, mine, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you're winning the fight, but I do, from the pressure that he's constantly That thrown. combination was a one-two to the head, then a two to the body. Beautiful Muay Thai combination work. Fundamentals win fights. Basics win belts. Another spin attempt by Erdem's who's looking for whatever he can do to pull out a victory late in this fight. That right arm has gotten very low. I, wow, what a combination. That was a left body kick followed by a right over the top, stepping forward by Duong Se. Duong Se has clearly saved yet another notch for this last round. That yeah. came in with a lot of power. I, I think you can expect to see that high, that left kick go high again in the next two or three kicks. I he really must, do. it's He's wide open. It He's setting it up. He's setting it up. He's getting that right arm lower. There's He's another to punch to the, the body. He's starting to attack the body now to get the hands lower, and I really think we're going to see that in that left kick come high. He's also seeing the opening for the right hook over the top. He's throwing the straight left to the body and the right hook over the top, and it has landed. It may land again. He could go with the, that straight left to the body and the lead right hook. In my book, that's a 10-5. He could go that high kick off of it. Or, you know, the one thing that Tongse hasn't really shown in this fight is uppercuts. If he got it some uppercuts right now, I think that he would bring that uppercut out of nowhere and it might really catch Erdogan. First little bit Just of clinch work we saw in this fight. Not, not much 
have happened as far as exchanges. Duongse very happy to fight at this middle ring. He knows, he knows he's dominating there. And I think that that's why he's having success in this part of his career right now, is he's sitting in that pocket right there, in that mid-range striking game. And he's catching everybody like he did Cox in his last fight. And still demonstrating good head movements during the little flurries of air dims. This is going to be, if he wins this fight, which I do, don't see anything else happening. It's going to be two really good Ws against two solid fighters in a row in Cox and Airdems. And the one thing Airdems did was his homework because he did not eat one clean elbow throughout the extent of this fight. Let's yeah. see if I jinxed him. <laughs> there was that one left elbow. I think maybe it was right elbow. Oh, there's an elbow the inside. Head. There's another little slice inside. <laughs> and there's a cut. My apologies if you believe in jinxes. Oh, it is too. Look it at sure that. is. Right there. Yeah, right Duan there. Duance yeah, heard me and said, I'm not going 15 minutes without cutting somebody. <laughs> and now he's starting to throw that left into that left knee to the More elbows, more elbows. Even with as dominant as this performance is, he's trying to finish the fight with these elbows. We have 30 seconds left in this USA title fight. And Duance is going to do what he can to close out the show in dominant fashion. If I'm Air Dam's corner, I'm telling him, head off center line to the left and throw a double jab overhand. Let's go. We got 30 seconds. This is your puncher's chance. Yeah, if he really wants it, he's got to do something. Jumping elbows, jumping knees, something that can finish the fight and crash. Otherwise, there's... But we don't know how bad that knee is injured. Something no. tells me it's That was a bad. hard counter hook by Duongse off the that. top. And that's the end of our fight, a very beautiful fight as I go in.